Anyone with the right practice can attain some of the highest stages of consciousness and abide in what sages and mystics have been talking about since the beginning of time. There are infinite numbers of ways to get there, as I documented my entire journey from the first sit all the way to the Big Bang. The objective is to dissolve every speck of solidity that separates you from the rest of the universe and merge with infinity. And I suspect that everything we do in life are keyholes to this end. Every day I wake up in the morning, I feel like shit, you know why? And I'll do anything I can to acquire this consciousness. How do you advertise your brain? Uh, evolutionary psychology and philosophy mostly. Replace my fabbing session with meditation session. Like, don't you want to see what is like beyond your mind? Like, there's a space outside of the yin yang circle. Self-destructive process. Now the body is a hologram. It's vibrating moment to moment, a sensation. Gone is the mind body muscle duality. As a matter of direct experience, the mind and the body are in consciousness. We flip ourselves inside out. We create an avatar of ourselves. Dissolve that duality between inside and outside. At first, you can catch one sensation every 5 to 10 seconds with your awareness. But eventually, 5, 10, 15 sensations a second. Everything's gone. I just had my Kundalini to my crown chakra. Every particle of my being are exploded like nuclear bombs. It was like death times divine orgasm. It feels like I'm floating in infinity. Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's like I get a little vertical. I'm like, holy shit. But it's no, there's no height. There's no width. There's no dimension. There's no form, no limit. That's your true nature. That's your true face. The mirror with no reflection. You can access states of consciousness that is as powerful as DMT Natty. With just the sober mind or even, even more, right? Secession or Nibbana or fruition, which comes after the eighth and final jhana or samadhi, your whole universe disappears. Before fruition, usually you have a Kundalini awakening where you know, all your chakras open up. After that spiritual high, you usually falls into a dark night of the soul, where dying before you die, you're peeling away layers after layers of the false self. But without a fruition, it's hard to lock glimpses of awakening into a permanent shift to abide in infinity. Each macro fruition perpetuate the character into a new dimension. I've just unhooked awareness from inside the head to everywhere and nowhere and the body, the mind, even the world are not just inside it as tiny clouds of sensations, but the modification of it. And it's aware as itself, by itself, of itself. I'm perceiving everything as like smoke. Paper thin, feather light, but it's super heavy. When I scan, I'm just, I'm just automatically scanning this whole god mind. There's only one awareness. They're all looking through the same looking. Like a witness. It's the last thing that is to be dissolved. Like the one that's looking. I'm awareness, I'm consciousness. That's not your true self. What am I? There's no screen to consciousness. Meta is loving kindness meditation. All suffering comes from separation. But then there's still a little speck in the center. You go through a threshold where poof, time is a fake natty, space is a fake natty. I'm collapsing my awareness, my attention, into this tiny little point smaller than an atom, quote unquote. The next moment, I can expand the body mind to the universe. So I'm doing the two simultaneously, contraction and expansion. If infinity does not include paradoxes and contradictions, it's not infinite, is it? When I look at a cup, it's completely holographic. Penetrate through it on and on along with all the other objects in this room and sensations, sight, sound, thoughts, body, emotions, whatever. And it's like this luminous, boundless hologram, 360 degrees, and it's just perceiving itself in unity, simultaneously, without any delay. Without the separate watcher, the distinction between a subject and an object collapsed. There's only reality or the source experiencing itself. So the point is to access every stratum of the mind or consciousness, and then disidentify and disembed them all from external freedom. So it's like four right now, and for the last three or four days, I just can't sleep at night. Had another Kundalini download. The cycle ended with a few secessions. There was never any ego to kill. There was never any meditator. There's no process to dissolve anything. There was never anyone in here. Now there's no center at all. Death is inside space and time. The furthest reaches of the universe is literally the extension of being. The edge of the universe, that's inside space and time. This thing transcends space and time. People think this is something you imagine. 
the new operating system is like vast, boundaryless, timeless. Uh, like the world is moving through it. The body, the mind, even the world seems so far away that it's like they're just barely hanging out by this non-existent thread that's connecting all the other holograms through infinite webs of conditioning. And when I cycle my legs, it feels like it's the doing of the entire universe. But that's what's happening to everyone by itself and there's nobody doing it. The body, the mind, sensations, perceptions, source, awareness, the world, the skies, they're all the same one no thing to me right now. See, thoughts were never inside the head and you were never inside the body. It doesn't feel like my eyes are looking out through the world or my ears are hearing anymore. It feels like there's just one singular sense store, quote unquote, God sense store. <laughs> and it's comprehending itself. Whatever is arising is passing away simultaneously and everything is free falling in the center of infinity as infinity. So nothing has a center. Every particle in this field contains the whole. It's like totally aware and awake. The future and the past, even the now, are all condensed into the singularity. Literally every nano corner of this diamond room extends outward infinitely. It's, it's me and you. Like, how did I even believe that I was this little thing in here? Frank Yang thing. This is, this is fucked up. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. <laughs> like, there's no mind. There's no consciousness even. It's just, this is fucking... I thought the shift I had before was huge. This is... This is, this feels, this feels total. Like every little point is, con is connected, that there's no points anymore. Like before there's still some subtle solidity here, here, there, there, that sometimes I deconstruct and then there's no separation during meditation. But now it's just, it's just, it's just full. It's just, it's empty and full. It's just it's like, what the fuck? It's like I can't imagine ever going back to the way I was before. Like, there's no way, like this is not gonna be permanent. This this space here that it, it's just like it just it, it's I can't explain it. It's, it's when I meditate before while I was doing vipassana, I'm scanning my body like this. But now I'm scanning like the the way I scan it. It's like infinite. It's like the whole universe going like this, and then like, and I just have to close my eyes, and then it's like it's like and I don't even have to scan actually I can just sit here and then it's like it's really hard to describe it's just like it's it's, it's the, the whole world is going through me and out of me but that's not even the right description because there's this this Mitsu here is part of that emptiness it's hologram hologram void on void infinity on infinity which means that there's nothing to say this this is but there's so much to say. I, there, there's, there's a billion words that could be used to describe this. And it's still not going to touch it. But then... It, it's... 
but then worse are just empty too. This this makes LSD, <laughs> DMT even seem like baby. It's not an experience. It transcends experiences. The whole universe eating itself through and through like a cosmic snake, one of those symbols, you know, biting its own tail, strange looping to infinity. It's infinite, 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 infinite love, infinite pancakes, infinite God. It just get boom, swallowed out by the void. Boom. My body, boom. My thought, boom. Of course you're not your mind. There is, is no mind. There is no mind. Of course, this, this, this eternal stillness, even if you have a million thoughts, a million sensations, a million sounds, a million bodies, they're, 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 in, they're completely still and silent and empty. Or they can be completely loud, it doesn't even matter. There's no, there's no mind to silent. There's no body to say, this is not my body. Just like that, you can see infinity, that zoom, just zoom, 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 zoom. 啊，其实他那个那个图片都其实都一样，只是他就是就不玩那种，就是就是那种感觉啊。可是可是 ，not literally 那那个 visual 就是，或者是就是那个那个那个那个，就就一个一个圈圈啊，然后他一直像把那个 figure eight， 然后就这样像那个 Asher 这样子。你你你看到那个 picture， 你会觉得说他他他还可以卷到卷到哪里去？他全部都来去啊 ！What the fuck？ 你这个之前你也有试过这样吗？我之前有，可是没有这么 stable， 然后没有就是我还可以讲话，然后那之前就在 meditation 里面或者是在 trip 的时候，然后我现在是 like， 我现在我我我现在我现在的我我的 character， 我的 character 在跟你讲话，然后他他就在他就在那里做他的东西，我不会讲，我真的不会讲。我知道。Meditation, books, uh, yoga, all that stuff is techniques or tools for the character, even Kundalini, for the character to ejaculate himself out of the dreamscape, out of the matrix. But at that space, when you look back into the circle of yin and yang duality, meditation makes no sense. It's a different order together. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up, literally. Four or five hours of sleep almost every day. I can perceive every sensation inside my body and outside, stretching all the way 360 degrees simultaneously all at once. See, we're condensing infinity into finite forms to pretend we're separate selves. But the two are actually the same because form and emptiness are the same, just different waves in the same ocean. The absolute is the relative. Buddha mind and Christ consciousness are shapeshifters. What's up, bro? Infinite, bro. Infinite, bro. <laughs> nice shit, your your awareness gets unhooked. Second path, third path is bigger and bigger. Infinite towards that direction. But I didn't close the loop because that speck was still blocking the way. You're closing the circuit, so you, you go all the way. And then back again, like like a strange loop. It's like the figure eight thing. And then everything you look at is like shh. Every sensation is like shh. And the whole universe is like shh. And you, you just like part of that. Like shh. Let me tell you, there are awakenings, and there are awakenings. The enlightenment experiences, the enlightenment experiences, all that congeal and convert into a singularity of enlightenment. And that moment, you just know. You can't deny what's right here. Perfection, perfection, enlightenment, not enlightenment, all the same. Difference between the full thing and. 99% is like quantum. Mm. There's gonna be a moment where everything just syncs up as one. Reality syncs up to itself. The zero syncs up to zero. It's kind of like like omniscience almost. This whole field is totally awake. So even consciousness is dependent on originated with, through, and as everything else. So it's not the ground of being. It's not permanent. <laughs> See, even emptiness is empty. And when you try to find that quote unquote true self, you can't locate it, even though it's manifesting. The universe right now through each and every one of us. 
um, basically I'm permanently headless now. Sensations, when you depersonalize them down to the microscopic component, it's all just empty space, like physics say. And this empty space vibrates into form, moment to moment to moment, and this form could be anything, it could be oneness or it could be my middle finger. <laughs> I am loving awareness. Nope, don't get stuck there. <laughs> always changing, always changing, always changing, always changing, always changing. Always changing. Absolutely no separation, just everything's connected. You feel like you're flexing the entire reality. And the way the character responds to an enlightenment is different for everybody. From stream entry to fourth path, it was like movie from 720 to 1080 to 4K to 360 degree 4K. May all beings be happy.